In this video, we take a look at how to create a Good Friday wallpaper in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So Good Friday is fast approaching and as a way of giving my Good Friday message, I decided to get a couple of stock images from Google so that I can blend them and then speak to you through this image. So the focus of this video is to talk to you about Good Friday. So we're going to put these stock images together to form a wallpaper in Photoshop. So let's get into Photoshop. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a size for wallpaper. I'm going for the size 1920 by 1080. You can use obviously any size that you want to use. And I'm going to increase the resolution to 300. Let me keep it 300 because I want it to be highly resoluted. So I click OK and then I move ahead. The next thing I'm going to add a solid color to this plain background and the solid color that I'm using is this right over here. So next I move on to click OK and then basically what we're going to do is we're going to import the images that I showed you that is the stock images. The link to download these stock images will be in the description. Do kindly check it out. So the first one that I'm going to bring in is Jesus on the cross. You can get similar photos like this on Google. So you left click and then you drag it right inside photoshop and then you place it right over here now what we're going to do is we're going to right click and go to um, rasterize layer so you hold shift and then we drag it to this side a little bit and then i'm going to select the blending mode and change this one to overlay so basically it is going to blend with the background i don't want the edges to be this plain so i'm going to add a layer mask to it so right over here and then i'm going to select my brush to right click and then make sure the hardness is at zero and then you can brush off this area so you have to make sure your, your foreground color is black and then you can brush off this area like that so moving on i'm going to position this one over here a little bit and then i'm going to add another one to it that is the, this particular um, crown of tones so i'm going to import that one straight also into photoshop and then there we go so that one has to be under my image i want it under my image so i'm going to drag it beneath my image like that right click and then rasterize and then change that one also to overlay so i want it right over here but then i don't want it this big so i'm going to press ctrl t transform it like this and then i'm going to position it over here so with this one you can even leave it like this if you want to but then i don't want the edges to be that soft or hard so i'm going to brush off a little bit also like that by adding the layer marks to it moving on i'm going to add my other kind of tones and then the nails the one that has the nails in it so i'm going to place that one over here and then it has to be on top of the first crown of tones and that one you rasterize it also and basically we're changing everything to overlay so i just want it to blend with this one and then i transform it like that and then i'll send it over here so i'm going to add a layer max to it again and then brush off all this area just to make it look nice so we have something good over here those are the images that we are adding then next i'm going to write a test on this one so basically i'm going for good friday and the font that i'll be using is called Hevetica inserat it will be in the description and then we change the color to white and you check ok when done so moving on, I'm going to press Ctrl T to transform this one quickly like that. And then make sure that the spacing is not that much. So I go to the toggle character and then I'm going to reduce the space. I don't want the space to be that much. So there we go. So I'm going to position this one over here. And then I'm going to right click on it. 
go to blending option and then add a drop shadow to it so i'm going to drop a shadow and then increase the size a little bit also just to make it blend with the background that we are using so next i'm going to import in my realistic blood over here it is a png file realistic all of them will be in the description so it has to be under my good friday so i right click and then turn this one also to overlay and then it has to be here so i'm going to press ctrl t to transform this so that it fits so that the, the dripping blood will be uh, sort of coming from the good friday test moving on i'm going to select um, my rectangle rounded rectangle over here and then i'm going to create a rounded rectangle at this place so i want it basically like this and then the color i'm going to change the color to black now let me show you a tip here when you have any rectangle and you want to decrease the opacity you don't necessarily have to go to the opacity to decrease it you can press or you can type in the number for instance i want this one to be decreased to 20 percent so i just type 20 and then there you go or even if you type two it takes you straight to two so if i i type five it takes me straight to 50 so that is it that is just by the way so i'm quickly going to add my message of the day to it and i have it written over here so i'm going to copy this one right over here and then i'm going to select my test tool make sure i don't write inside the box and then i'm going to paste it okay so i don't want to use a vertical interact i want to use acrobat and i want to use the semi bold over here and then i'm going to drag and drop this one inside of the rounded rectangle that we created so as you can see because i did the spacing for the good friday i have to space this one out a little bit as well so i'm going to space this one out a little bit like that and there you go so i'm going to make sure everything is inside of the rounded rectangle from here you can save this work as a jpeg and then use it as your wallpaper in other words you can blend a lot of other pictures with your own and then you create your own hd wallpapers and use it at your homes and on your computers i hope this good friday brings something very interesting to you and i hope the death and the resurrection of christ will bring you out of any bondages that you are into thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video i hope you like it don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one it's innocent here bye